Hello, welcome to Jason the Old Millennial. My name is Jason, speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. And in today's video, I am uh, doing a video uh, answering some questions that were given from another uh, VC YouTuber. Um, this was started by uh, a guy named Richard McCook, um, who posted these 10 questions um, on his channel. Um, I guess he's done this before. And just for YouTube uh, people in the VC or the final community um, who make videos like myself, uh, 10 questions to kind of look at and answer anyways. And some have already done some videos on this. I actually saw this on Robert's on my turntable um, on his YouTube channel. He did this 10 questions. And uh, I've seen G uh, Glenn Kellaway from the basement did the 10 questions already. So I don't know, I thought it was something interesting to look at these 10 questions and answer my opinion on them as someone who makes uh, YouTube videos. All right, so first question is, do you ever get, get disheartened when a video you think should be popular is, is ignored? And if yes, give an example. Um, I suppose everybody would get a little disheartened maybe when we, um, anytime I make a video and it doesn't get very many views, I suppose I look at it and think like, oh, I didn't do very well. Like, I don't know what happened. Uh, but most of my videos don't get very many views. So it's kind of a common thing uh, to look at my videos. And I usually get like 10 views on it. And I always think, gosh, I have I have now 48 subscribers. Um, so it's been climbing a little bit lately. And, but, you know, I only get like a quarter of those people actually, I guess, watch the videos that I make. Uh, that they're subscribed to. And so it's a little disheartening, I suppose, because I, I'd, I'd hope I'd get more like, you know, 40 of the 48 uh, that are subscribed to me would, you know, watch the video that I make. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Nothing to do about it. Um, there's not a, a, a specific video that I've made that I ever thought, oh, this is going to do gangbusters. And then I looked at it and was dis disappointed with it, I guess. Uh, I'm generally disappointed probably with any video that I make that doesn't get very many views. Um, and I'm very happy when it does get views, of course, on the opposite end. And, you know, and, but I don't think about it too much, I guess. It's just like, oh, that's too bad. And I move on. Um, number two, how often do you check your subscriber button? Or I think that's, I might have missed, I probably wrote that wrong. I think it's asking about, uh, do you look at how many subscribers you have? And how often do you look at that? And I would say, um, being someone who doesn't have very many subscribers, uh, lately I've been looking at it more, I think, because I've been, uh, last month or so, my subscriber count has actually been going up. So it is kind of interesting to look at it um, every once in a while to see if uh, I got any more people to join. Of course, it usually tells me if someone joins, not all the time. Sometimes it just pops up that I, I have more subscribers. But sometimes it tells me so-and-so subscribed to my channel, and then I know I got more subscriptions. Uh, I've done this maybe for, I think I've done this over a year now, this YouTube channel. And uh, I got to 32, and I was on 32 for months and months. Like, it would never go up from 32. Uh, and so I think at that point, I wasn't looking at the subscriber count because it was just like, it was never changing. It was always 32. And for a long time, so I was like, well, I'm never getting over the number 32 for some reason. That's like the max I can get on my subscribers. Uh, and then a month or so ago, Rich Strickler on his YouTube channel shouted out my channel, uh, you know, told his subscribers to um, come to my channel, subscribe or whatever. And since he did that, it's gone up from 32 to now I got 48. So I think I'm, I'm guessing a lot of that's thanks to Rich which I'm very appreciative that he did that. And anybody who shouts out my channel, uh, I'm so excited for, and I'm very happy that they would think of me in that way. And so that definitely, I think, helps. So now I'm down up to 48. So now I do, I probably look at it a little more often because uh, I never know when I might get a new subscriber. And of course, anytime someone shouts out my channel, that's when I really look at the subscriber button or how much I got. Because I know there's a chance that there might be a little bit of a bump from the shout out, so... Um, number three, how often do you ask people to hit the subscriber button? I never, ever ask anybody to hit the subscriber button on my channel or to like it or anything. I guess I always feel weird about that. And I know I watch a lot of 
YouTube videos and almost every single YouTube video is the same. They always say, oh, before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button, hit the um, the bell, the, uh, what do you call it, the notification bell, you know, and comment, and, you know, and, you know, they tell them to do this before they do their video and, and I guess I always feel like, well, I'm sure they already know that part of it. Like, I don't have to tell them, you know, hit the like button. I just think, well, if they like it, they'll hit it. If they don't, they, they won't, you know, whatever. Whatever I say is not going to change their mind, probably. Uh, and to hit the subscribe button, I figure if they want to subscribe, they'll they'll hit it. You know, if they don't, they won't. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I don't feel like I have to mention it. I feel like people know that already. Anyways, that's why I always, I never say, I'm just like, if they do, I'm happy. If they don't, you know, that's fine. It's up to anybody if they want to like the video or subscribe to my channel. I appreciate anybody that does uh, very much. I feel very blessed by everybody that has done it. Uh, that anybody would want to listen to me speak on a YouTube channel is pretty cool uh, to me anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I never asked that. Number four, how do you feel when you lose subscribers? And what is the largest amount you have lost in one day? Um, I only have 48, like I said, right now, and I had 32 for such a long time. And, uh, and so I never really had a big problem with losing subscribers. Luckily, I do worry about that every once in a while. I think I'm gonna wake up and look at my YouTube channel and I'll lose, you know, half my subscribers will finally go, oh, this guy is not very good or boring. You know, uh, I guess that's a pessimism in me that I always think this all could go away one day. Uh, you never know, but so far it's been staying steady at the numbers that it is, which isn't very big, but still, I, I have, I'm glad I haven't been losing a whole lot. I think every once in a while I've looked at the subscriber count and it's like one less than it was before. So I think, oh, what happened? I lost somebody. <laughs> like somebody decided they didn't like me anymore and unsubscribed. I don't know. So I've never lost more than like one, maybe uh, every once in a while, but not very often. So it hasn't hurt me too much. Um, now, if five or ten people left, then that would hurt my channel probably because that would be a pretty big chunk of my subscribers at that point. And I feel like I really did something wrong. But so far, I haven't had too much problems with that. Number five, how do you feel when people comment on your video and they obviously haven't watched it? Uh, I haven't really seen that as a problem, I guess. Um, I don't usually get a whole lot of comments. I get maybe two to three comments maybe on, on a channel. I mean, on a video, and a lot of times maybe no comments. Uh, so the best I usually can hope for is maybe I get three four, three comments, like I said. Maybe I've gotten five. I don't know. That may be my max I've ever gotten on a video. I don't usually get very many comments. Um, so I've never, never thought, oh, they didn't really watch the video, I guess. I'm just happy for anybody to comment, say anything. I, I get, you know, pretty excited, and I love to, you know, see any, see the comments and get to reply to them and talk to people you know, have some kind of discussion. I always like that part of the whole making video is uh, putting out ideas and then discussing them. Uh, so yeah, so I, that one's for more for uh, YouTubers that have a lot of probably subscribers and a lot of uh, people that watch their channels and lots of comments, you know, uh, obviously, but I don't have any problems with that. Number six, if you or already have hit a thousand sub count, Will you monetize your channel? And if you are eligible for the thanks option, will you promote it? Uh, obviously, I have no, you know, having a thousand subscribers is way beyond what I'm probably capable of doing. Uh, getting 100 subscribers would be like awesome to me. If I get to 100, I'd feel pretty good that I did something good on this channel. A uh, thousand is quite a bit. Seems like to me that's a huge number that I'll never get to. So I don't even think about monetizing the channel or anything like that. And I never thought about starting the channel. It was just a hobby, something to do for fun. Uh, so that never entered my mind, I guess. And I don't know what the thanks option is anyway. So I don't know. If I ever somehow get to that number, I guess I'll think about it or anywhere close. Number seven, do you ever sub another channel just to try and get a sub back? And when you do sub other channels, approximately what percentage do you hit the notification bell? Um, I can't ever think I ever thought about subbing when I sub a channel that I ever get a sub back necessarily. I mean, that's great when they do. And the, uh, the VC is pretty nice about it. Um, I think they like to support each other in the vinyl community. Uh, it's a really good community where we try to support each other's channels, I think. And anytime someone new comes along, we support, you know, we get the word out on their channel. 
I think that's a really nice thing about it all. And I think a lot of people like Glenn Kelly from the basement, Rich Strickler have mentioned me on their channels. And, you know, that's, you know, been very helpful to me. Um, I guess I do, I guess I do hope that people sub to my channel sometimes. If I make, I always think like the best way to, uh, maybe to grow the channel, my, my, what's the word, my strategy plan, I guess is, is when I go to other, when I find another, uh, YouTuber, I'm, you know, usually I find them out by other YouTubers that say, Hey, check out this person's channel. And then I go, okay. Uh, and I go to their channel and I start watching some videos and if I like it, usually I'll start commenting on the videos. And I do think like that's maybe the best way to get people to know your channel is by getting on their channel and making comments. Because I think comments is the best way to uh, make friends on the YouTube, on the final community. Because I feel like, you know, I go on some, yeah, somebody's channel and I start, you know, making comments. You know, I think they appreciate that and they reply to my comments. And then I think if I keep, you know, commenting on their stuff, they'll notice me and they'll say, hey, this guy's been you know, watching a lot of my videos and commenting, you know, hey, he's got a YouTube channel, I'm gonna check him out. So I think that probably helps if you want to, you know, grow your channel. That's my guess It's the way I try to grow my channel is try to make as many friends as I can in the vinyl community. And, you know, talk to them as much as I can and get them to notice me, you know, and hopefully if they notice me, maybe they'll get some more subs, you know, you never know. That's the hope. But I mean, if it doesn't happen, whatever, it's anybody's, you know, I go, if they wanted to sub, you know, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine. Uh, I appreciate anybody that does, like I said. Um, the, anytime I sub to someone's channel, though, I do hit the notification bell all the time. I guess that's the first thing I do is I subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, and I try to watch channels. Uh, even, even there's certain channels I love that I watch all the time. There's certain channels that I don't watch a lot of the videos, but I, I try to, or I don't, watch them all the way through, like they talked about in the other question. Sometimes I go on a channel and I and I kind of look a little bit at, at a video and I hit the like button and I might not comment because I don't have anything to say, but I'll at least try to watch some of it so I can give them that view so their view numbers go up and, you know, and try to support them in some way. Um, I think in the, um, you know, Vaughn community, there's definitely, there's hundreds of channels to watch, so it's it's really hard to get to all the channels. And that's pretty understandable. And so you have a kind of a close group, knit group within the channel. You have your own vinyl community within the vinyl community. Because um, I feel like I'm probably closest to uh, people like Rich Strickler, Glenn Kelly from The Basement, Brian Massey from Mace Massey's Entertainment, um, Sam St. John, uh, Randy Nelson, Adam Carpenter from What the Gym. Uh, I don't know if I miss anybody, but that's kind of those maybe that group is kind of maybe more a close knit group that I uh, that I'm usually watching every video that they make and trying to make comments and stuff like that. So there's definitely like five or six people that I'm I feel closest to on the channel that I will always watch and comment. And then there's uh, people outside that that I might still kind of view their stuff, but not as much anyway. So I think that's kind of how it works um, within the vinyl community. Number eight, how long do you think it is acceptable time to wait before replying to a comment if you reply to comments? And like I said, I don't get a lot of comments and I appreciate any comment I get. I love when people comment because I think comments are the biggest thing on the channel because you really know they watch, usually that's kind of the indicator that they actually watch your video if they make a comment and reply to what you said and, and they point out things you said in the video. And then you go, oh wow, they actually watched it, you know? Because uh, I get a lot of views, but not very many comments, so you don't know if they really watched it. And like I said, I got like 48 subscribers, but um, if I'm only getting two or three comments, that means maybe only two or three of them actually watched the video out of 48. Um, so you do love to get more comments because then, you know, people actually, you know, appreciating the stuff that you're putting out. And so, yeah, anytime someone comments on my channel, I always reply as soon as I can. Like, as soon as I see someone commented, you know, I click on it and I read it. And I try to make some kind of comment back and thank them for commenting. And I find that that's what I love about other channels. And the way I become closest friends to people on the YouTube, on the final community, is when I make a reply or I comment on their channel and they reply to me quickly. I mean, that makes me feel so good. Like, and I'm like, oh, wow, this guy took the time out to reply to my comment. You know, he might be busy doing other things, but he took out that time, you know, and I appreciate that a lot by a lot of people. And that's where I 
get closest to people and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch it, all their videos because they're they're nice enough to, you know, reply to me. So uh, I enjoy that so much. I'm like, okay, I'm going to support them more because of that. So I think that's always a good thing if you're uh, doing YouTube, uh, any kind of channel, is to try to subscribe, is try to reply to as many comments as you can. I think that really helps out. Uh, number nine, do you like RSD, which I didn't realize this until I watched the uh, um, Robert's on my turntable that that means record score store day because I thought that I saw that and I was like what is RSD I guess that's record store day um, so do you like risk record store day and if so after buying items do you feel the need to show them immediately um, like I said I just now kind of started buying uh, albums vinyls and CDs so I have a very small uh, collection at the moment and uh, I didn't know Record Store Day was a thing. I kind of remember people making YouTube channels and talking about it. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Rec Record Store Day. So that's kind of a new concept to me. So I haven't, maybe next year, maybe I'll pay more attention to it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And of course, when I go out and buy some vinyl or CD, I like to listen to it a little bit before I start, you know, showing it on the channel and talking about it. Uh, so I have a better opinion about the, the album that I got. Uh, number 10, the last question. Do you enjoy participating in and watching um, uh, collaboration videos and live streams? And um, if they go beyond, or, and there's a question about, like, do you hate it when they go go beyond the one or two hour mark on, on those videos or something like that? And I love watching collaboration videos and live streams. That's probably my favorite thing about the Vinyl Community YouTube or any YouTube channel is when they're able to, um, especially like I said, live streams where you can uh, participate in the stream and you know ask questions and make comments and then you read it on on the YouTube and you're like, oh wow, they're reading my comment. Like that's to me so exciting. I love that. Um, I, and yeah, and I think the more people that are involved, uh, a lot of times that makes for a better video. Uh, I wish I could collaborate more or I wish I could collaborate. The only collaboration I've had is I've, uh, hopped on to Rich Strickler does a lot of live streams. Uh, and he's allowed me to kind of hop on during the live streams. I've done that I think three times maybe now. And so that's really cool that I got to participate a little bit in a, in a live stream and collaborate and I love the idea of collaborating. I wish I can collaborate with some you uh, vinyl community people. Um, Adam Carpenter from What the Gym, I've talked to him about collaborating the video so I think we'll do that sometime soon in the future. We'll probably do a collaboration. I'd love to do collaboration with Rich Strickler of course because he does really good collaborations and you know Glenn Kellaway from The Basement, Sam St. John and like I said Brian Macy and uh, Randall Nelson, and also uh, Doc, uh, whose real name is Sean, I believe. Uh, all of them I'd love to collaborate with, uh, like the people that I, I watch the most. And so I hope in the future I get to collaborate more with them and get to participate anyways, because, yeah, I do love them. And I don't mind if they go two hours. Like, I, I can listen, I can sit there and watch forever, because it's like you're talking to your friends. Even though I've never met these individuals personally, and I've just met them on YouTube, I still feel like a friendship there. So it's kind of nice uh, getting to talk to people. And like I get to talk to Glenn Kellaway, who's in Canada, you know. Uh, I get to talk to Adam Carpenter, who's in England, you know. And that's pretty cool to talk to somebody uh, from other countries, you know, and get to, you know, we can't meet face to face, but we get to meet on YouTube. And that's a really cool thing. So I do love that a lot. Um, I forgot there's also a bonus question, which is, uh, do you ever check to see if you're wearing the same shirt when you um, post a video? Um, and it's funny because I was thinking about that the other day when I uh, post a video. I usually don't check if I've been wearing the same shirt, but I don't have a lot of shirts really. I have like five shirts that I wear. I don't really feel the need to have too many shirts. I don't know how many shirts normal people wear. But I always feel like trying to be minimal on the amount of shirts I have. So uh, like I don't need a bunch of shirts in my closet just I say four or five is all I need probably. Um, so it's pretty common that I'm wearing the same shirt in a lot of the videos. And sometimes I'm when I when I upload my my video on the on my iPhone, I will see the you know the last couple of videos of what I'm wearing. And I have thought like, oh, I'm wearing the same shirt in that one. Like I uh, it just happened to be that way. So but I mean, doesn't bother me. I don't know if it bothers anybody else. <laughs> 
Uh, I just wear kind of the same kind of shirt, so uh, they all kind of blend together probably. So, but that's a funny question anyway. So that's the 10 questions and my answers to them. And uh, let's see more YouTubers, uh, the vinyl community hopefully will do this too. And it's kind of a fun thing to ponder on and talk about. Uh, and it's the, talk about the joy of being the vinyl community and uh, doing these videos is a you know fun hobby to have. And I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos and likes them and subscribing to them. Uh, really appreciate you. So uh, again, uh, thank you and have a good day.